The content you are about to watch contains AI-generated voices of real-life individuals. The dialogue you hear in the video does not accurately represent the individuals depicted in the video. We hope you enjoy. Today, our valiant heroes are spending their day this basking in the sun, day. catching big <laughs> waves, eating ice in cream, tummy. and even doing some fishing before their recording session back at the house. Oh, wait, it looks like they're getting ready to go back now. Well, that should be everything. You fellas ready to go? All good here, bro, Obama. Yep, I got everything, Barry. I'm all good here. Let's hit the road. An all-out fight, win the Pyrite Coliseum Knockout Challenge, Donald. Hey guys, welcome to episode three of the Pokemon Coliseum Let's Play. And welcome to October, it's spooky month, fellas. Oh, oh, oh my God, are we gonna go trick-or-treating this Halloween, Obama? Oh yes, we are, Joey. Make sure to bring a pillowcase, because we're going to be hitting up a lot of houses on Halloween night. Hey George, wanna compete to see who can get the most candy bars again? Oh, you bet I'll take you on again, Donnie. I've got a feeling that I'll win this time. Ha ha ha, we'll see about that. Dang, what the hell happened here? Dude must have gotten his ass beat from the looks of it. Damn, these guys got slumped for real. Silva really did this? I honestly didn't think that kid had it in him to do something like this, that's crazy. Well, seeing as Duking wasn't willing to do anything, I'm guessing this is Silva's way of throwing a wrench into Mirror B's plans. It works, considering this power station here runs the Coliseum. So if that's out of commission, so is the Coliseum, apparently. Makes sense to me. Kid had to do what he had to do, I guess. Yeah, when you put it that way, George, his plan definitely works. But did he even think to consider the possibility that the bad guys could just find a different power source? Or worse, they do some heinous and diabolical shit to the townsfolk out of retaliation? That's fair, Donnie. Silva did make a rash decision to do all of this shit but it was the only thing he could probably think of to do to put an end to Mirror B's shenanigans if Duking wasn't going to put his big boy pants on and stand up against Mirror B. All right, so now we've got to go on a fetch quest. Is that right, George? Yep, though it's not much of a quest. We just got to find the item and bring it back. It won't take very long. I probably would have never found this shit on my own, not gonna lie. Yeah, as a kid, I struggled for hours to find the gear. Felt dumb as all hell after I found out where it was, though. That's for sure. Well, now that we've got the gear, I'm not sure what our next course of action to take is next. Any ideas, fellas? No, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know, Barry. Well, aside from George here, I'm not quite sure what to do from here. We could try talking to Duking and see what he says. Well, never mind that. Seems he's going to take the initiative and talk to us first. Well, he better say thanks, considering we found the gear for these guys and got the Coliseum up and running once again. Ah, uh, so it was an issue of trust? I guess it makes sense. We did just come into town, so we're pretty much outsiders. Nah, fuck him. He's still a bitch. But we'll help out nonetheless, because the game is forcing us to... Okay, that's actually pretty fair, though, not gonna lie. Oh, come on, guys. It's our duty as presidents to help the people, right? So... We've got to stop Mirror B no matter the cost. Joe's right, guys. Plus, we can't allow these goons to keep on distributing Shadow Pokemon to people. That shit's actually kind of fucked up. Speaking of Shadow Pokemon, I actually am curious what their method is of creating them. So they're basically Pokemon that have had their hearts closed off. How the hell do they even manage that? All will be revealed as we progress through the game, fellas. I'm keeping my lips sealed about certain things. Just like how Joe is keeping his lips sealed about where he hid the cookies, eh? Look, guys, I really don't know where the cookies went, honestly. Some weird shit has been happening around the house lately, and it's really creeping me out. You sure there aren't ghosts here, Obama? No, there are no ghosts here, Joe. I think you just forgot where you left the cookies, wherever the hell that'd be. Oh, fuck yeah. See, Duking's got a keen eye for talent. Hell yeah, we'll take on the Coliseum as long as I've got the controller. Anything is possible, boys. Make sure the team is fully healed, Donnie. I don't remember the last time we hit a healing station. Oh shit, good call, George. So how tough are these battles going to be, George? Well, they shouldn't be too tough if Donnie plays his cards right. Come on, guys, this is the Big D Trump we're talking about. I'll have you know that I'm an expert battler and I am going to absolutely violate the competition. Just you wait and see. We're gonna win this knockout challenge and we're gonna win bigly. All right, let's see how good your battling skills are then, Don. Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna go get some ice cream for this. Be right back. Don't forget to bring us some bowls, too, Joey.
God damn, that Coliseum entrance cinematic was nice. I love this. Yeah, no kidding. That was cool as hell. All right, I'm back, fellas. Say, why does that guy have such a ridiculous name? Yeah, his name is pretty fucking stupid. Most of the trainer names in this game so far have been goofy as hell. Ha ha ha. Yeah, no kidding. Also, getting our question of the video out of the way. If you could have any Pokemon of your choosing to be your real life Pokemon partner, who would they be and why? Leave your responses down in the comment section below. And while you're at it, why not drop a like and subscribe to keep up with our content if you're enjoying the video so far. Okay, now that I've got that subscribe shit out of the way, I think I'd like to have Bree Loom as my partner Pokemon. I've always liked Bree Loom's design, and I usually run one whenever I play through Emerald. All right, that's a pretty solid choice, Barry. I'd pick Dust Noir. They've got a pretty fucking cool design, and I enjoyed using them in competitive back in the Gen 4 days. They're a pretty solid Mon, in my opinion. Oh, I'd love to have Celebi as my partner Pokemon. I'd love to be able to time travel with them. I feel like it'd be pretty exciting to see what things were like in ancient times, or even the future. This all hinges on if I can accompany Celebi through time travel, at least. Hmm. I think I'll go with Vaporeon. They're really cute and especially cuddly and very breedable. Ah! Bad Joe, bad boy, no gooning around. I swear if Joe was in the Pokemon world, he'd be on the Pokemon League's watch list as a Pokemon toucher. Ha 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 ha. You know, I actually wonder if they have like some kind of Pokemon sex offender registry in the Pokemon world. If they don't, then they need to implement one for this goon. No low punnies, Gardevoirs, or Vaporeons are safe with this guy around. Good use on the hyper mode shadow rush, by the way, Don. Hey, I'm just utilizing what you taught us, George. Thank you. Did you seriously have to spray me so much, Obama? I was going to say I was just joking. Nah, don't give me that shit, you damn goon. Pick a different partner Pokemon and I won't spray you again. Okay, okay, fine. I choose Jigglypuff because they're cute and cuddly and they can sing me to sleep. Pretty fitting partner Pokemon for Joe, wouldn't you say, fellas? Yep. Yep. Anyways, though, do you guys know about those e-reader things back in the early 2000s? Oh, damn, those things? Yeah, I remember those. You could unlock stuff in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald too, right? Yes, you can. And what if I told you that this game in particular had some e-reader stuff you could do in the game? What kind of e-reader content could this game possibly have, George? Well, I believe there's about 24 scannable e-cards for Coliseum itself, and they're all trainer battles in double battle format. You were able to obtain four shadow Pokemon through these e-reader cards, interestingly enough. I could be wrong on the exact amount of trainer e-reader cards, but yeah, there's a lot. Damn! So if there's however many shadow Pokemon locked behind these e-reader cards, then that means we technically can't 100% the game? Yeah, unfortunately. That's fucking bullshit. What was Genius Sonority thinking when adding those damn things as bonus content? I don't know, but remember, Donald, you're in a battle now, so lock in my guy. Oh, I'm absolutely locked in now, especially because of the battle theme playing right now. That shit is slapping hard. Slapping harder than when Obama smacked Joe in episode one, no doubt. I can still feel it sometimes, man. That shit was not warranted at all. Oh, my ass, it wasn't warranted. You were being a damn goon hound, man. Somebody had to stop you. Yeah, he's not wrong, Joe. You were getting really out of hand. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyways, though, how many battles do the Coliseums typically have in this game? The Coliseums only have four battles, so not too many. Donald's got three battles left, and if I recall, these shouldn't be that challenging. Considering the first guy I battled sucked ass, I think it's safe to say everybody else will fall at my feet and bask in the blinding light of my glory. I wouldn't underestimate these trainers, Donnie. The game can get annoying at times with the type of trainers it throws at you and their team comps. Hey, I'm sure I'll be fine. I still want to scrap with Gonzap, though, so I call dibs on battling his ass first whenever he shows up. I can't wait to see that shit. <laughs> Anyways, I'm honestly feeling pretty hungry right about now. I might order some pizza. How does that sound to you, fellas? Meat lovers pizza, please. Yeah, Joe's spitting facts right about now. I second that. Yeah, meat lovers sounds pretty damn good right about now. Damn, why won't this tiny bird thing just die? Well, you did try using a psychic type move against it, Don. It makes sense it would tank it. That fucking bird has as much special defense as a damn newborn. It should just faint already. That's such an insane comparison. But anyways, I guess just focus the Meditite and then knock out the Natu afterwards. Well, the pizza's on its way. I ordered like four boxes of pizza. Figured that'd be enough for all of us. Thanks, Bravama. You're a homie for real on God. W plus no ratio. Boom, baby. Meditite down. Rest in piss, Chicken Little. Hmm. 
Do you guys think nachos taste any good? Okay. What compelled you to even ask such a question, Joe? Why would you want to eat a nautu? Like, seriously. I don't know. I'm just hungry, man. God damn it, queso fucking sold. I can't believe it, fucking fat ass. Yeah, I thought that was going to be a knockout right there. That's really unfortunate, Don. Well, at least queso tanked that damage like a champ, though. God damn, we need to evolve these guys soon. Hariyama's going to be such an excellent sweeper, man. That's one down. Well, Kaknia is down. Now it's just Vulpix left. You got this, Don. And that's the battle, folks. Hell yeah, good shit, Donnie. Hey, how long till that pizza gets here, Obama? It feels like it should have been here by now. Yeah, I'm pretty starved, not gonna lie. Plus, some pizza will go good with this next ass beating I'm about to lay down in the final match. Yeah, I wonder what's taking them so long. Oh shit, that must be the delivery guy. Be right back, boys. All right, so is there anything I need to know about the next match, George? Hmm. There's not much to it since his Pokemon aren't that hard to knock out. So you could just keep doing what you've been doing for these past couple of battles in order to win. No sweat, really. Oh, okay, thanks. All right, excellent. If we beat this bozo, then that means we could probably get into that one peculiar looking building we saw Mirror B in somehow. Maybe he's gonna try and recruit us when he sees just how strong we are. That would actually be pretty damn cool, not gonna lie. But I'm not sure if that's how it'll play out. Considering Mira B knows who we are already, and we've already showed our intention to meddle in his affairs. Though I do admit some kind of portion of the game where we go undercover as one of their organization's goons to get information or something would be pretty cool. All right, I'm back, fellas. I left two boxes of pizzas in the oven to maintain their temperature longer. Hope y'all enjoy. Oh boy, nothing beats the smell of fresh pizza, man, I swear. Thank you for this, Barry. Mmm, yummy in my tummy. I love pizza. Thank you, Obama. I swear, you just cannot go wrong with Meat Lover's Pizza, man. This stuff is the bomb. Thanks, Barry. Yeah, no problem, guys. It's my treat. Anyways, what's the strategy for the final match, Don? Well, I guess it's to cripple the guy's team with Thunder Wave so they can hopefully miss some turns to attack, and then I'll start hacking away at their Pokémon's health. Oh, okay. Pretty decent strategy with the Pokémon we've got currently. All right, good knockout, Don. I think you've got this shit in the bag at this point. This guy doesn't seem threatening at all. Like, how the fuck did this guy make it to the finals anyways? The dude absolutely blows. Yeah, his ass is cooked. Not gonna lie. He should just pack it up. Yeah, that fucking magnet fuck stood no chance. Elbozo on God. Well, his ass is cooked. Good job, Don. Yeah, well done, Donnie. You're the fucking Pyrite Coliseum champion now, motherfucker. Yeah, good stuff, Donnie. That was light work, fellas. There ain't nothing out of the Big D Trump's reach. Yeah, you bet your ass good things are in store for me. Now get the fuck out of my face, loser. Yeah, he's definitely crying home to his mom with that one. Boo-hoo, he can go suck his thumb and cry in bed for all I care. Pokemon battling is rough out here. Yeah, Joe's spitting nothing but facts right now. Oh shit, we get TMs for winning. Which one did we get then? Oh crap, that's right. Uh, that one might be toxic. That's pretty good, honestly. Well, damn, we could probably make use of that, I think. Well, I guess there's no point in sticking around the Coliseum reception any longer. I guess we should just head outside and look around. Yep, already on it. Oh shit, it's one of Mirror B's goons. Let's fucking get him. Now wait a minute, Joe. He doesn't seem to recognize us. I don't think it's necessary for us to jump him. We should probably act clueless and go along with whatever he says, you know? We might uncover something. Oh shit, he's actually leading us into the building. Ha ha ha, fucking dumbass. Once we're inside, that's when we'll finally suck him. I mean, jump him, right? Joe, you know I've got my holy water spray bottle on me at all times. Do you want to get cleansed again? Oh no, please, not again. I'm sorry it won't happen again, I swear. Wait, is that actual holy water in that spray bottle, Obama? Ha 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 ha, yes it is. It was given to me by my church's priest. In case I ever found myself in a pinch, I could ward away any evil that threatens me. Damn, how come my own church's priest back in Texas didn't give me any shit like that? I was the president too, God damn it. Well, let's just say that Father Gabriel and me just roll like that. Well, looks like the jig is up. Joe, you know the drill. 
pull the guy's pants down to confuse him, and then while he's confused, that's when I tombstone him to oblivion. Hell yeah, I've been preparing for this moment. Are you too sure this guy wouldn't just do some taijutsu Naruto type shit and beat the fuck out of you? Yes. yes. Well, okay then. The confidence is kind of concerning, yet also uh, quite astounding. Anyways, I'm pretty sure you got that Yanma to catch, Donnie. Oh shit, uh, I hope we're stocked up enough to catch it. Oh yeah, I forgot to address this earlier in the video, but we've seen your guys' comments about using some infinite Pokeball glitch. Uh, we all discussed it, and we've decided not to use any kind of glitches to make snagging Pokemon easier. It just doesn't sit right with us, because that's kind of cheating in a way. Catching this Yanma is not going to be fun, though. Just so you know, Donnie. Oh, fuck me, man. Well, I'll just try my best. All right, well, we finally singled out Yanma after getting rid of that Pineco and his other two fodder mons. Now we can focus on catching this stupid dragonfly fucker. Yeah, that shit was taking forever, guys. That's why we had to cut ahead. Well, Pineco wouldn't have been such an issue had we gotten Flame Wheel unlocked for Quilava, but I guess it all works out in the end still. God damn it, we only have regular Pokeballs? Yeah, we're fucking cooked. Well, you never know, Donnie. Maybe we'll get a lucky catch. Yeah, I'm keeping my expectations low here. Please get caught, please. All right, looks like we've got an extermination job for Dale Gribble. Tell him that Trump needs his help. Well, shit. Maybe if you get Yanma into the red, they'll be easier to catch. I mean, probably. But crap, man, he's so close to fainting, I don't know if I can pull it off. Well, you could always try throwing another Pokeball again, and hope to God he stays inside of the Pokeball this time. It could work. Yeah, just try it again, Donnie. George might be right, as low of a chance it is to catch Yanma with a regular Pokeball right now. All right, hopefully this one is the one before we risk the knockout. Fuck this stupid bug creature, I hate you. All right, I can feel it, guys. This is the one. Ah! Well, damn it, there he goes. I'm guessing we can't catch the damn thing now, George. You can still catch him, actually. The game gives you a second chance to capture all the shadow Pokemon you've missed, I believe. So you don't got to worry if you miss some. We can always go back and capture it. Oh, thank God. Now I don't have to feel bad and pissed off anymore. That was awfully considerate of genius sonority to give us more opportunities to catch any shadow Pokemon we missed. Wow. Yeah, it would have been fucked up if they didn't give us that, honestly. Ha 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 ha. I love how the two of them are arguing in front of us. That's hilarious. And they both took off too, damn. We've got to nab them. Now, I don't think that's necessary now, Joe. We're in the building now, so we've just got to search the building and nab Mirror B instead. And send his ass back to Pokemon Mexico. Or we can put him behind bars with Trudley and Folly instead. Well, I guess that works too. I'm still puzzled on why these goons are giving out Shadow Pokemon to Coliseum winners, though. Maybe to spread chaos or something much more diabolical. All shall be revealed in the coming episodes, Joe. Just you wait and see. Oh, okay. So no wonder Duking wasn't doing anything to go against Mirror B. They were holding his Plusel hostage. Now I feel really fucked up for hating on him. His hands were practically tied. He had no other choice but to do nothing. Damn it, I feel like an asshole too, Obama. We definitely need to save his Plusel no matter the cost. Fuck yeah, we'll get Plusel back. We'll save Plusel and knock Mirror B on his disco dancing ass. Hell yeah. Don't worry, Plusel, we're on our way. Yeah, we'll take down that damn Mirror B and get you home. The battle has only just begun between our heroes and the villain Mirror B. With his iron grip on Pyrite Town, the well-being of Duking's Plusel is on the line. Our heroes are fighting a dangerous battle right now. Will they come out on top, or will they fail? Find out next time on President's Play Pokemon Coliseum.